Well, hello guys. This is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl, and I've got Kim. Oh, my vintage here. She is just fabulous, and she's going to be showcasing her owl collection tonight, and I'm very excited to have you on. Kim, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me, Katie. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Kim, tell us a little bit about yourself and your channel. Uh, well, my name is Kim, and I have a channel called Oh My Vintage, um, and I uh, basically show like vintage hauls, and I've been doing vintage live sales, um, selling vintage home decor, jewelry, and accessories, and I also have a vintage Etsy shop that I've had for like 10 plus years, um, selling, I also sell vintage clothing, accessories, and jewelry for um, men and women, um, and yeah, and I'm happy to be here uh, showing my owl collection. <laughs> Yay! Kim, Kim has a fabulous uh, collection of vintage things. So if you are not following her channel, do so. I've linked her down below. And of course, my moderators can put her uh, in the chat as well throughout the evening, which is awesome. And Kim does have a really cool Etsy store. I first found her through Etsy, and then I've been following her live sales. And Kim, we might be doing a live sale together soon, so I'm excited about that. Yes, we are. Very excited. <laughs> well, let's say hello to a few people that we've got here in the chat. Michelle Lee is joining us. Hello, Michelle. Hi. Terry was here bright and early, and Carrie's an owl collector too, so she's excited for this show. It's going to be fun. Angela's joining, and Angela's got a small collection of owls. Look how many owl folks we have out here tonight. Awesome. Hi, Diane Broderick. Thanks for joining us. Daniel is here from Tacky Is Me. Hello, Hi, hello. Daniel. Cat Calypso Antiques is here. Now, Cat, Gina, and Picasso Cat will be having a live sale following this show tonight. So after you uh, follow us, make sure you go on over there to see their show. And I will be having a nine-minute premiere at 11 o'clock Eastern, so it won't take up too much of their time. And you can catch that as well or catch it on the replay. But make sure to go support them because it will be Picasso Cat's first sale tonight. Tammy is coming in. Tammy Renee Walker. Hello, hello. Hi, and, Tammy. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Carrie's been dealing with some water outages today, so I'm glad you got your hot shower, Carrie. Oh, nice. Michelle is joining us. Emancipation Michelle. Hello. Welcome. Chris is here. Hello, Chris. And Side Street Market. Christine. <laughs> 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 I like that. Pamela Hammett's coming in, and we got Proud American. Proud American supports everyone. You're great, Proud American. <laughs> Elba with the cool car is joining us. Hello, Elba. Welcome, welcome to everybody. And LJ is here. Oh, LJ is just the sweetest. Hi, LJ. I'm so <laughs> glad you are here. And uh, Jerry Ellsworth, Sharon is here. Oh, my good friend Rodney's in the chat tonight. Hello, Rodney. Thanks so much for joining in. We're glad to have you. And Carrie's on the ball. She's already got Oh My Vintage channel. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Carrie. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. I'm so glad that you are joining us tonight. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and big round of applause for Kim coming on the show tonight. <laughs> So, Kim, let's start off with a bang. Let's talk about your favorite owl in your collection. Okay. So, my favorite owl, hi, everyone, <laughs> is uh, this one. And um, this is a uh, 1970s Avon uh, snow owl. Uh, and it still has, I, I just realized that it still has the... Um, timeless powder sachet because it has it's a bottle figurine um and i'm not going to open it i mean obviously you can twist the head but i smelled it and you can still smell the, <laughs> the avon powder I'm like Whoa. <laughs> That's uh, well, avon has a very distinct smell <laughs> yeah but i just love the look of this um it just feels like a frosted satin glass type of feeling and I, of course, I love the like sparkly, um, faceted uh, uh, stones for the eyes. And I got this. Oh my gosh! Like maybe, like early, like two thousand 
2006 or 2007 at like one of my favorite vintage stores um, in New Jersey. So this is my favorite one is because it's sparkly and looks fierce. <laughs> I love his eyes. Oh my yeah. gosh, that is just fabulous. See, this goes to show you folks that Avon does make some really good quality things. Yeah. Avon gets a little bit of a bad rap, but I think we should bring Avon back. And yeah. that out was adorable. <laughs> so, so Kim, share with us a little bit about how you got started collecting owls. Of all the different animals, what made you interested in owls? Um. Well, it's funny because I'm actually wearing um, a vintage owl brooch right here. It also can be worn as a pendant um, uh, on a chain that I have on the side. But I wore it as a brooch tonight. <laughs> and I bought this from a vintage store uh, online like a very long time ago. So this is what started it all. <laughs> and uh, it has like pearl eyes and like this green cabochon for the belly and it's on the a branch. I don't want to like go too close <laughs> to the camera, but you can kind of see it. But this is what started it all. Like, I don't know if you remember, but like back then when everyone was um, like really into wearing like owl pendant necklaces. So I started like looking at vintage owl um, pendant necklaces and then I wanted to get um, uh, owl like vintage owl figurines and all sorts of things like owl related and I just always love them because they're just they look like fierce and cute at the same time <laughs> and uh, yeah so this brooch is pretty much what it uh, started it all <laughs> that's really cool Kim I, I do love owls I saw my first owl in a tree a few years ago I mean you know I'd hear them but I'd never seen one in person and yeah. to just watch how majestic they are is just amazing and I'm wearing an owl brooch too in honor of Kim this is my uh, BSK owl brooch I got from Stephanie at Thrifting Adventures so that's in honor of Kim tonight. <laughs> Those brooches are fun so Kim, show us your, you showed us your favorite piece. So show us your most expensive piece in your collection. Okay, so my most expensive piece is actually, um, uh, it's an owl pendant necklace. But I, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I just know I, I did pay some money for it. <laughs> um, not too much, but out of everything, this is my expensive one, I guess. And what's really cute about this, hold on. I might need my, uh, need <laughs> Pat Patrick's here, by the way, everyone. <laughs> <I'm the> director. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so you can kind of see, it's very tiny, but it's, um, it's a vintage Florenza uh, owl, perfume diffuser locket pendant necklace. And if you look closely, it has like the little holes on the inside. Oh, the director's here. <laughs> yay, yay, yay for the director. Okay, you can kind of see it now. And then if you open it up, you put um, like cotton balls in here and you can spray like your, your perfume that you, your like everyday perfume that you wear or like essential oils. And you can always smell, you know, uh, smell good <laughs> the whole time. So I, I got this at a, a vintage store like a while ago. And I just love like the blue eyes and like how unique it is. Um, and I'm sorry, you know, it's always the tiny things that I can barely uh, <laughs> do a close up. <laughs> but yeah, this, I, this is my most expensive piece um, out of every, out of everything in my owl collection. I just love it. It's so unique. People are loving this in the chat. And I have to say, I've never seen a perfume diffuser. So I'm totally <laughs> fascinated with that right yeah. now. And I'm <laughs> gorgeous. Now guys, if you have any questions for Kim during the show and tell, please feel free to put it in the chat and we'll get it answered. I saw a question coming in, um, I don't know, and I, I'm not sure if Kim knows either, but it says, I wonder where the saying, wise old owl came from. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know, I Kim? Mean, no, I mean, I know that owls, you know, they're, they're, they symbolize uh, wisdom and knowledge. So I guess that's just where it comes from. <laughs> isn't, isn't the 
wise old owl sitting in the tree. Isn't that part of a vintage song? I yeah, should I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was, maybe it's in Rock and Robin, I think. The song Rock and Robin, is that it? I don't know. I'll get back with you all on that. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> Patrick's Googling it right now. <laughs> oh, good. Good for Patrick. Yeah, so, Pat, mm -hmm. why don't you, he, he'll type it in the, um, in the chat for us because that's like a lot to, to read. <laughs> well, it is. Well, you know what? We need the director around. Patrick's yeah. very important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm so fascinated with these owls. Now, what? show me your most vintage owl in your collection. My most vintage one? Um, hmm. I mean, most of them are vintage, but I'll show, I'll show one that is vintage. <laughs> Um, and it is this, uh, white owl, uh, it's a Westmoreland owl, and it has, like, these little, like, faceted rhinestones for the eyes, and it's on a stack of books, because, you know, the wise old owl, and <laughs> it also symbolizes knowledge, um, and I just, I got it at an estate sale, um, last summer and they had like a big owl collection and this one was in like perfect condition that it even has like the original uh, Westmoreland sticker on the bottom. So oh, this, no. yeah, I just love it. I mean, this is one of my most vintage, vintage uh, owl uh, figurines in my collection. <laughs> Oh, well, there's Patrick. As per Google, <laughs> <laughs> the or origin of wise owl dates all the way back to Greek mythology. Mm, interesting. Well, that makes a lot of sense. A lot of things come from the Greeks. <laughs> yeah. So this one I, I love so much. <laughs> and I love the Jimmy eyes. Now, are you drawn to all owls that have uh, Jim rhinestone eyes? Um. Yeah, I mean. I like any, yeah, like any owl with sparkly stones or if they're really cute um, or like fierce looking. <laughs> I just, I just, yeah, I love all, all types of owls. But of course, if they have some sort of sparkle, I love anything that's sparkle. So yeah, this one looked into my soul <laughs> and I was drawn to it. <laughs> Now, where do you find most of your owls? You said you got that one from a state sale, and then you've gotten mm -hmm. others from antique stores. Where are you finding most of these? Yeah, I'm finding most of these at antique stores, garage sales, um, estate sales, um, and like thrift stores. Uh, pretty much, yeah, or, or like flea markets as well. So anywhere I can find it, and it's funny because whenever Patrick finds an owl, he'll just immediately show it to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you display all of these? Because I know you have a pretty big collection. So what is the best way to display all your owls? Um, well, uh, if you watch uh, my first video on my channel, my owl collection, I have it on this uh, white shelf. Uh, along my wall in my office. And for the other ones that I have that are not on that shelf, I have it either uh, like stowed away like in my cabinet, depending if they're like my seasonal owls or depending on when I'm decorating for the holidays or uh, different seasons. And I have some just like sprinkled around uh, my apartment. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Now, I see Carrie saying here that she loves cranky and angry looking out. <laughs> yeah, they're cute, too. I love it. It's like, are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> what? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> so, Kim, show us an owl that has the most interesting story behind it. Okay. I, I was really thinking about it. I asked Patrick, like, is this interesting enough? But it's the only thing that I kind of had a story for. So I had to put it all on a tray. And you, if you watch my first owl collection video, you'll know what I'm saying. So I hope I don't drop this. So it's a group of, of these owls. And they are um, these vintage brass uh, enamel uh, cloisonne uh, double-sided owl. 
and I thought, <laughs> um, surprisingly, I uh, I found these when I was a long time ago. I was in New York, and I went to an interview. And after the interview, I uh, stumbled upon uh, this uh, church rummage sale as I was walking back to the train before I went home. And of course, you know, the thrifter in me is like, oh, I got to go inside and check out what they have. Um, so uh, I found all of these for like a really great price. And they actually come on these like wooden uh, uh, little pedestals. And uh, I just thought the interesting part of the story is that what's funny is that I never got a phone call back from the job interview. <laughs> like I didn't get the job, but I did go home with uh, these really cute, uh, these really cute uh, owls. And, uh, you know, so at least I, I gained something. And uh, if you, I'm gonna, well, I'm sorry if I'm shaking. If you, they're double-sided. So if you turn them around, they are like different colors. Uh, I didn't show that in my video, I don't think. So they can be turned, if I don't want it to be this color, I could make it this color. And it's also the same for the, the bigger ones. Uh, the bigger ones uh, are double-sided as well. Please leave, Carrie said, please leave those to me in your will. Okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know you'll appreciate them, Carrie. So I'll remember that. And uh, yeah, I just love these. So that was my interest, most interesting story. I didn't get that job, so it wasn't meant to be. But these were meant to be for me. <laughs> Those are gorgeous. Now, for all of our viewers out there, could you explain a little bit about uh, the meaning of poison A and what that is, if you know? Oh, yeah. It's... um. It's a designer and they make like those metal enamel, um, like uh, like it's paint, painted like metal enamel. And they also do uh, like pendants and brooches and like little owl figurines like that. And it's just the way, you know, it looks like that. <laughs> those are absolutely stunning, just stunning pieces. <laughs> Carrie's brain is about to explode from <laughs> owly goodness. <laughs> Hi, Martha. <laughs> Carrie loves owls. Hi, Martha. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. I appreciate it. I'm so glad you guys are all here. And again, if you have a question for Kim, drop that in the in the chat for us. Oh, <laughs> man, these owls are great. Now, who knew that you could have a whole collection of owls? I find that totally fascinating and wonderful. It's amazing what kind of vintage things they made back in the day. Now, uh, can you show us the cheapest owl in your collection? Oh, the cheapest one? Hmm. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> That's okay. okay. The audience will never know. It could be anyone. I know. Okay. I guess my most recent like cheapest one would have to be this one because i got it with like a whole lot of uh vintage owls and it's this really cute uh here we go again <laughs> this really cute of uh, vintage owl um a napco wear here hold on the director's here to help me yeah, the director. <laughs> Round of applause for Patrick, folks. <laughs> Here's his magic trick. Oh, I need a new computer. Okay, there you go. There so, we are. Yeah, it's this very cute, um, like mama owl and um or papa owl, <laughs> uh, and the baby owl, and it's from um Napco where it has the original uh sticker on the bottom. It's just like in a little nest with the branch and like all these like pretty little flowers on the bottom. And uh, I think I, I don't really remember, like maybe this came out to like almost like 50 cents or something. Uh, so that would probably be my cheapest one when I bought like these owls for myself. <laughs> so that is, is a great deal. <laughs> yeah, so this is my cheapest one and it's really cute. And I don't have one like this in my collection. Oh, that's just so sweet. <laughs> And you don't find them with the stickers often because I think a lot of people remove the stickers 
So it's pretty cool that you've got one with the original sticker, just like your Westmoreland owl. Yeah, so th this also came like in that same uh, uh, lot with that Westmoreland one. So uh, I'm glad that whoever collected these <laughs> kept the stickers on them and didn't throw it away. So I know where it's coming from. That is awesome. Now, Diane's asking you, how long have you collected owls? And I know you told us a little bit about your owl collecting journey, but how long have you been collecting them now? Um, I guess I've been collecting them for, uh, what is it, 2021 now? So maybe uh, like over 15 years now. Wow. Yeah, probably 15 years. <laughs> And Diane Broderick is asking another great question. She says, how many do you have? And I'm sure you might have to guess to make more. I don't know. I mean, Patrick's good at seeing all my stuff. How many do you think I have, Patrick? I mean, I wouldn't say it's like 100. Okay, Pat's thinking I have 50, but I... She has a secret stash. No, I don't. She's not telling me. <laughs> But probably, yeah, maybe like around 50 or so. <laughs> That's a good amount, though, of owls. And I think that if you can collect something that makes you happy, that's what's important. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm glad you found happiness in those cute little owls. So, Kim, I'm just going to turn the camera back over to you, and I'm going to let you just show the rest of your collection so we can all see some really cool eye candy because you've got some amazing things. <laughs> Cool. Hey everyone. So, uh, oh, cheers. <laughs> okay. So my, the first one that I have is this cute, um, 1960s ceramic owl, a coin bank. And I just love it because it says be wise, save. <laughs> um, it doesn't have the rubber stopper but don't worry i am saving money in a different coin bank <laughs> so this is really for display purposes and i just love it because i love um look carrie it's like a cranky cranky owl <laughs> but i love it because he's serving it because it looks like he has eyeliner on both of his eyes there and i got this at a vintage store uh like a long time ago you know when i just started collecting owls and it's like i have to have this it's just it's so unique and i just love it <laughs> so the, this one is really cute i love him the banks are always fun i love the banks and i'm always happy when they're not a smasher because smashers yeah. make me sad <laughs> i know i don't even know why they made them um, I guess maybe they did that so that no one would take out their money. <laughs> I guess that you would save more, but yeah. I just hate to see a little cute owl get smashed. I'm glad I that know. he's got his stopper. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm just reaching over for my and next one. The song that I was thinking of is Rock and Robin. It says the wise old owl, the big black crow, flapping their wings and singing Go Bird Go. <laughs> Oh, cool. That's, that's Bobby <laughs> Day. <laughs> okay, so my uh, my next one, here we go. I'm serving it on a platter for you. <laughs> so oh. I found these vintage uh, green glass owl shot glasses, and I just love them because they're so unique. I got this at um, an antique mall. Uh, that's another thing I forgot to say. I get them at antique malls as well. <laughs> and I found this, it was like hidden, like underneath the shelf. And when I brought it up to the counter, this woman said, I didn't even know this was over there. Like, you know, I guess one of the people working, <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> Don't worry, Carrie, you're in my will. I love you. <laughs> so she was so, she was surprised that, um, this was, I guess that was in their booth. And they're like, oh, I didn't realize I had that. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm getting them. So um, I just thought it was so cool. And I just love the color of them. They're just so cute. <laughs> they are. And their little bottoms kind of remind me of the texture on the Mr. Peanut Man. So oh, I just yeah. think they're round and darling. 
<laughs> and then well the Carrie's losing her mind in the chat over your owls. <laughs> I know Carrie, I, don't faint. <laughs> So speaking of Carrie, I brought one of uh, this owl that she sent to me, and I just love it. It's this white of uh, owl, and I was surprised one day because uh, uh, I saw that I got um, mail, like friend mail. I'm like, I didn't buy. You know, I was trying to think, did I get anything from any live sales recently? <laughs> and then I. I got a message from Carrie and she's like, oh, did you get the message? Um, uh, the, the, uh, uh, her mom from uh, Lori Blue Flamingo uh, sent me something. And what's cool is that it's a pin cushion in the back. And I just thought it was so pretty and it has the flowers and I don't have one like this. So this one's very special to me because it was a surprise and uh, i just love it so much and it's so sweet of carrie to send to me see he's oh, like wow. oh, no. <laughs> see he's he's he or she say don't forget to put carrie in your will for your <laughs> collection <laughs> there you go it's focusing now but isn't it so cute he's darling and i have to say those flowers are gorgeous on the back of him yeah and i've never seen an owl pin cushion before he's he's definitely cute <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, and then uh, I have another owl. Now this Carrie says he's your reminder. <laughs> he's my reminder, Carrie. Okay, I'll put it. I'll, I'll stick in the the pin cushion a note. Don't forget to put Carrie in your owl to get your owl collection in your will. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one I found is this a cool owl. I just love it. It's like my protector <laughs> and uh, it's just I, it's so cute and it has uh, it's like perched on like a branch and here's the back of it it's just I just love there's like no chips or cracks when I found it uh, I found it at an estate sale I can't remember when I know last summer though <laughs> and I'm yeah. yeah unfortunately it's missing um the sticker so i tried looking online and you know i can't just type in like white owl vintage white owl figurine because so many pop up and i tried taking a picture of it but if anyone knows where this one's from i appreciate it so much because i just love it so cool <laughs> yes i mean the detail on his feathers are really just amazing yeah. I've not seen as many detailed owls as him. So he was really well done, whoever made him. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I just, yeah, it's so intricate. Just watching over me. <laughs> <laughs> Your owls protect you at night. <laughs> yeah, they do symbolize a protection as well. So if I were to have, like, if I was like a character in a movie, like, I'd want to have like an owl, like, kind of like, you know, how Harry Potter has, oh, a, yeah. yeah, has like, a, has his pet owl to like do stuff and protect him. Like I would want to have an owl too. <laughs> Owls, they're smart and they see all and they watch all. Yeah, they're just, just very observant. They're very intuitive. <laughs> so the next one uh, is a gift that I got actually from, hi Chad. <laughs> hi Chad. Uh, uh, is a gift that I got from my sister-in-law because she knows I love owls and I just love this one because it's so colorful and it's hand painted from Mexico and I just love like all the pretty painted details for like its feathers and its wings so when she gave this to me of course I gasped and like oh my god because <laughs> I don't have one like this in my collection. And I just love all the colorful details, even around the eyes. The jet black glaze really makes all that hand-painted color stand out. Yeah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> Carrie's dragging us up tonight. <laughs> it's kind of hyperventilate, Carrie. Don't worry, Carrie, I'll keep an eye. You know, I don't have a lot of room. 
for a lot of owls. So if I find one, I'll send you another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun that we have other owl collectors uh, in the chat with us. And of course, my hope with these deep dives is that it inspires you, the viewers, to maybe start a collection of something fun or do a little research on something you didn't know about before. <laughs> So I hope all of you guys are really enjoying the eye candy as much as I am. Okay, Kim, take it away. <laughs> okay. Carrie, just, you know, take a breather. <laughs> <laughs> Go get some water, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Patrick to fan you down. So <laughs> the next one I have, um, it's also another gift that I got from a family member and she got it for me. Um, when she went on vacay, uh, and it was like a while ago, and it's this really cute uh, tree nut owl figurine, and uh, she got this from uh, the Dominican Republic, and I just thought it was so cool because it looks like they like burnt um, like the details around, and they also did like these wood these carvings for like the feathers. And also around uh, the entire body. And what's cool about this is that uh, it's also a maraca. If you can hear that, there you go. <laughs> oh, wow! How cool is that? Yeah. So when she gave this to me, like, oh my god, I love it. It's so unique. And you know, it's just I just love it so much. And that I love that they use you know something like as like a tree nut. Um, instead of, you know, just using like new things. And I just love, you know, all the hard work and detail that was put into this. And, you know, he's just such a cute little nugget. <laughs> he's so round. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Carrie, relax. <laughs> those, those, um, uh, owls and different hand carved things made handmade in different countries the detail and the time that goes into that is always fascinating to me yeah, i just think I, they're beautiful yeah so wonderful <laughs> okay oh calypso cat says she has a similar one too and it's also a tree nut cool and Proud American says, it's great to see such a well-fed owl. <laughs> yeah, he's not going hungry. <laughs> okay, so the next one I have is this uh, blue uh, art glass, blown art glass uh, uh, owl. And I also have this one in green, but I'm showing the blue one tonight. <laughs> and I just love the the details and the color of the like blue cobalt cobalt blue color of this. And I have this actually sitting in my window with all of my uh, vintage uh, blue glass bottle collection. So this goes so well with it. And I just love it. And you know, this one's also not going hungry. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is a chubby little guy he's fun yeah. now do you know who made him unfortunately i don't have um the sticker on the bottom and i tried looking it up and you know every time i would find it it just said like a uh, blown art glass um and you know you can see that like this is like the area where they like um what do you call oh. this where they oh. finished they pulled the glass because uh, it's like, oh, how come, you know, the ear's not even? And the person told me, oh, that's because that's where they pulled the <laughs> the glass off. So very that's cute. That's amazing. Yeah. Art glass is so beautiful. Carrie's saying that it's possibly Viking glass. Oh, awesome. I'll, I'll, it's good to know that. <laughs> and Hazel says that she's capturing the colorful ones for her granddaughter to paint. She'll have fun copying them. Oh, nice. <laughs> so the next one I have, um, I actually got um, when I, I Pat, Patrick and I, when we visited, I got to meet his side of the family in the Philippines. And unfortunately, there were um, some airplane delays because of weather. So the luck, lucky thing was we got to stay in Japan 
for a day, one day. <laughs> so I made sure we got to do like as much as we could. And I said, I have to get something from Japan to remember, you know, our one day spent here. So of course I got this cute, uh, oh, gold, wow. this gold and red, um, well, this is the what it sits on. <laughs> and it's this gold uh, owl coin thing. And it's so cute because it has like this little baby owl um, that it's holding and saying like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I just love it because the gold represents uh, wealth and then the red is represents good luck. So I have this um, like in the left side corner of my office to bring good fortune and prosperity so and here's the back of it and this one is heavy because i do have coins in this one because it has the stopper <laughs> and i just love that when i look at it it just reminds me of that day that uh, patrick and i were able to go around uh in japan uh and did as much as we could <laughs> before our flight coming back home oh that is wonderful those are kind of uh, frustrating, but then they turn into happy accidents where you get the whole day in Japan. Yeah, <laughs> so that was really fun. So I, I'm glad I got to spend some time there to, for that one day. <laughs> oh, I love that. And lots of people are loving that one in the chat too. <laughs> she got a baby. <laughs> Does a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, another owl I got, um, is this cute little brass owl figurine. And I got this um, on uh, this vintage uh, Instagram account. And uh, my friend, uh, you know her, Christina, Postcards and Patina. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's got a wonderful account. <laughs> yeah, she, um, she messaged me and she said, uh, I guess it was a timed sale and it was at 9 a.m. on a Saturday morning, and I think I was still sleeping. <laughs> so I remember telling her, like, oh, I like this owl. So she said, oh, do you want me to get this for you? So then she just got it for me. And I was like, yeah, I'll pay you back. <laughs> um, so I don't have um, a brass owl figurine, like a little cute small one like this. So I was very happy that she was able to snag this before uh, anyone else did when um, their lot it wasn't a live sale, but it uh, they posted the pictures um, at 9 a.m. So whoever claimed it first won the item. So she got this for me. <laughs> and then. That is beautiful. Very bohemian looking. Yeah, I just love it. <laughs> and then um, this one. I think people love. Uh, I also got this uh, at an estate sale many years ago with a bunch of other owls. And uh, it, I hope I'm saying this right, but it's a tonella. Is that correct? <laughs> I think so. Or yeah. is it tonella? I don't know. It's one of them. I know. Tonola. Ten no, tonola. <laughs> so it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a tonella. Uh, uh little owl and it also says it on the side and uh hold on a second patrick he might help save me <laughs> he's coming oh <laughs> hold on one second sorry i just want you to be able to see it and it's just so cute yeah it's an owl nugget carrie and uh there you go it's focusing and it has a pretty flower on the back and it says, uh, there you go, Tonala, um, Mexico. So I just thought it's so cute, little owl nuggets, like Carrie said. <laughs> now, do you have a lot of uh, Tonala pieces in your collection, or is this one of your only pieces? Uh, this is actually one of my only pieces. So I hope to find more. Uh, in the near future. <laughs> Nancy's coming in from this overstuffed house. Welcome. And she says that she has a friend that is moving and just gave me some of his owl collection. So maybe you and Nancy need to chat. Oh, figure awesome. out that she's uh, uh, moving those owls along to new homes. <laughs> cool. Carrie, you can also uh, talk to to talk to her as well. <laughs> yeah, you and you and Carrie jump on that. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. So my uh, my other one that I uh, got was at an antique mall that I have yet to go back to very soon. Hopefully this summer. Uh, it's a really big antique mall, and um, I got this uh, gold tone metal. Uh, I believe you could say it's like a sun catcher because what I'm holding right here in the back is a suction cup and you could put this in the window and like have the sun uh, just beaming into the crystal uh, stones, uh, crystal faceted stones. And it also has it behind the eyes as well. So I just love it. And I just I love the eyes because it looks like it's wearing a pair of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> So it's so cute. I love that it dangles too. So it'll be pretty with the, the sun catching to the crystal stone. I the bet it creates a lot of rainbows around your room. Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> and then this one I love so much. It's so unique. Uh, I also got, this is the same place where I got those green glass shot glasses. And it's this wooden frame uh with an owl that's actually made with uh like metallic thread and these gold uh like metal i think it's just metal of some sort that they made to look like feathers and has um these buttons and what i really love is that they use the nib of a fountain pen Oh, wow. Yeah, as the beak, if you look closely. And I just thought it was so unique. And uh, yeah, I just, it's on a black felted uh, background. So I just love how it stands out. And I just, it didn't have anything like this on, in my collection. And I love that they use the thread to make it look like it's perched on a, on a branch. <laughs> That is definitely probably the most unique item in your collection. That is mm -hmm. just stunning. Yeah, so I had to have it like, I'm getting this. <laughs> and what a creative use of the pen nib. I yeah. I never thought about that for a beak. That There are some really talented artists out there. Yeah, I, I wish there was uh, like a signature or something in the back, but it's just plain in the back. Oh, thank you, Tammy. <laughs> And Nancy's saying, can you imagine that done with sewing and beading bits on black velvet? I mean, the oh, that, yeah. that must have been really quite something. Yeah. That's a good what happened? That's a good part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. And then uh, I have this cute little wooden owl uh, figurine. And it's uh, on a stack of books. But might need the notebook again. <laughs> it's a magic trick. And uh, it's hand carved and it's perched on a little stack of books. And there you go. I don't know what's going on with the color of my camera, but it's, it's a wooden piece and it has the initials EM in the back. So I don't know, maybe. EM for Emily <laughs> or something, or just their initials. And I just thought it was cute. I got this at the same estate sale, uh, a different one a long time ago. And I just love how cute it is. I love the wooden details in it. I think that's really neat. Yeah, you can like really see that they were like shaving uh, like the back part of it. <laughs> And Nancy's loving this one. And Nancy does a lot of hand-carved woodworking herself. So I know that she's probably fascinated with this little guy right here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and then this one is so wonderful. And uh, this is a little heavy. <laughs> and it's a genuine uh, hand hand carved a genuine alabaster owl um oh. and it's so wonderful it has some weight to it and it says that it's from um uh, it's made in italy from volterra because it has the original sticker on the bottom and i just love i love its googly eyes <laughs> oh i love him 
Yeah, it's just, and what's cool in the back, it's like carved for its wings. And it just, it's so cool like to know like they carved this, you know, by hand and then smooth it out. Oh, it's so smooth and glossy. That's just yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's your good side. <laughs> now, where did you get this little guy from? Do you remember? Yeah, I got this um, at a vintage, uh, a vintage uh, at an estate sale a long time ago. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Can't remember the town. I remember the name of the town. I think, but um. It was this lady, and she she was not just getting rid of uh, vintage clothing and accessories as well, but she had like this whole owl collection. So that's also what kind of started my owl uh, figurines because she had so many. So a lot of my pieces are from that same estate sale, like uh, many years ago. That is wonderful. Gosh, he is just darling. And Tony's joining us. Hello. Welcome, everyone popping in. Thanks for joining. Hi, Tony. Hello. My mom's coming in, and she says, one time at camp, I carved an owl out of a bar of soap. Oh, you can cool. tell it was an owl, but as a juvenile, it was. You taught me to appreciate how difficult carving is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's awesome, especially doing it out of soap and just carving it. <laughs> That's got to be hard. Oh, hey, Jose. Is it Jose or Jose? I've heard people pronounce it. I'm sorry I'm not saying your name right. I know it's French, but welcome. We're glad to have you here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, I also grabbed just a few more just in case I showed everything. <laughs> Absolutely. We're all enjoying this. I think Carrie's falling out of her chair with everyone. <laughs> Carrie, don't worry. You're in my, I'll put you in my will. I promise. <laughs> Can you pass me that one? Thank you. Oh, it's yeah. Jose. Okay, good. I'm glad Jose. I got you <laughs> nailed down. <laughs> so from that same estate sale from that, uh, uh, the alabaster one, I believe this one's uh, alabaster as well. And this one is so cute because it's just the head, like, um, and it has these orange eyes and it's hand carved as well. And you can just see that like alabaster stone and they carved uh, like the top part of it. And over here, they're just so cute. <laughs> I love how like round it looks with its beak <laughs> carried. Don't you a little nuggy. <laughs> <laughs> a little nuggy. It kind of reminds me of like a, um, a, what do you call those? Like the balls that you would put in a, on a pool table. <laughs> oh, like a, yes, the, the cue ball. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> Carrie went to get a towel for all the drool. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun that we have uh, Carrie in the chat who love it owls as well because that just makes this really fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> carry take a breath <laughs> <laughs> and then these other owls that i have um i saw them uh one time michelle from uh, newton's cupboard she went live uh when she was at a flea market and i was in the live chat and i said oh what are those gold owls there so uh, she was getting them for me and she got them for a good price. <laughs> so it was these gold uh, owl um, salt and pepper shakers and they're both on a stack of books. They're and, so shiny. Yeah, and I was like, yes. She's like, which gold owl are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, right there, you know, <laughs> those are the ones. And uh, sh uh, she was able to get them for a good price. So I was so excited when um, she shipped these to me. So I have these um, on my shelf underneath my uh, TV in my living room. And I just love seeing them. It's so, just so uh, fancy and shiny gold. <laughs> and that's so you, Kim. If you guys have not 
checked out Kim's channel, please do. But Kim loves the shiny, the glittery, the glitz, the gold, <laughs> the glam, all those fun things. Yeah, all the glam. I'm wearing gold tonight. <laughs> you look fabulous with your gold owl and your shiny gold shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and then another uh, pair of salt and pepper shakers that I got, um, I got from uh, Erin at the collection uh, Vintage at one of her, I think it was her first live sale actually. And I saw it in her Instagram photo. So I knew I, I had my fingers ready on the keyboard when I saw, <laughs> saw her showing these. And they're uh, owl uh, salt and pepper shakers as well. And I just thought they're so cute. And I love the like side eye. Um, he is side eye. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's, um, hold on. The director is helping me. He's a, <laughs> he, he's a Pamela owl. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. So this is, <laughs> here, I'll put it this way. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> this is like, this is, uh, Pamela giving Kelly the side eye. Oh, <laughs> so, so <sweet>. That's fantastic. <laughs> so sweet. I love Pamela and Kelly. <laughs> Me too. They they are wonderful. Miss uh, Pam has great sales on Saturday night, and I always laugh. I do I so great. Her laugh is so contagious. I just love it. <laughs> it is. It just makes you so happy. You know. Yeah. <laughs> So it's funny. I didn't realize it. Now I'm going to think of that every time I see them. <laughs> oh, and Nancy's coming in here with the wisdom. She says, owls being shown with books or scrolls goes back to ancient times. And owl mm -hmm. was a companion to the Athena goddess of wisdom. So there you go. Pat had already put in some things about yeah. uh, the owls and the Greeks. So I think that's fabulous. We got some great information there. Nice. <laughs> And then, um, oh, here we go. I also have uh, this uh, owl, uh, Wade Whimsy uh, figurine that I found. It's like this dark brown one, and uh, it has the Wade England signage in the back. And I just love it because I, I found a bunch of Wade Whimsies, and I got uh, an elephant one for my niece. And then I saw this one. I said, oh, I'm going to get the owl for me. And she already knew, like, oh, I knew you were going to get that, too. Because <laughs> I sent her a picture, like, oh, which way, Lindsay's do you want? And I said, I'm, I'm taking this one, of course, <laughs> for my collection. Oh, man. Wade <laughs> Wimsies are fun because they're so little. So yeah. if you want to start a collection, they take up no room at all. And the owl, just he's perfect. Yeah. And then... Uh, this other one that I have is so tiny. Director. <laughs> well, Patrick's but, doing a great job, folks. So thumbs up for Patrick and Kim. So this one is so, there you go. Wait, I think. So this one is so cute because um, I believe it's like a little dollhouse frame. And it has this little uh, owl painting uh, like on a branch, and I just love like how like sleepy the owl looks. And in my uh, owl collection, I have it perched on top of one of the owls, and I just love it because it looks like it's its own like gallery wall when I have it just sitting <laughs> <laughs> on the shelf. So so cute and tiny. Patrick, he's, she's uh, Cindy J said you're the best director. Oh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> You are, Patrick. You you help everything run so smoothly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's focused. So I just love how like, sleepy the owl looks. And I don't know, the little thing on the corner says Jody. So I guess whoever oh, did painted it, him. <laughs> yeah, it was named uh, Jody. So, so I sweet. love that. He <laughs> is so sweet. I just love his little face. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick is the Steven Spielberg of. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Love Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so those were most of my uh, owls that I have. Those are amazing, Cam. I was just 
so enthralled with your whole collection. You just have so many neat things. And as people are pointing out in the chat, you really do have a variety of different owls. They're not all the same. So this made it so interesting to see all your owls. And, and they were so pretty and cute and fun. So thank you for being on tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I had so much fun sharing my owl collection with all of you. <laughs> yes, it was. So, Kim, uh, give a little bit of a summary about what's happening on your channel next so people can go find you. Uh, well, yeah, my YouTube channel is Oh My Vintage, and I have uh, live sales uh, every Tuesday uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern. And um, this month I will be having, uh, I believe it's true. So like every Tuesday, so not this Tuesday, the next one, I'm having a live sale with um, Christine from Side Street Market. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to have Katie, wait, wait, Katie <laughs> from Vintage and Vinyl on my channel um, for a live sale as well. So of course, if you follow me on Instagram, you follow both of us, I'll always update you on YouTube as well. Uh, who's going to be on my channel. So I'm very excited to have Katie uh, to be with me uh, selling at a live sale. So, and I also have one more video <laughs> to film for um, my mystery unboxing. So I'll let you all know when I'm having my next live premiere. Hopefully that'll be soon uh, this month as well. And Kim, Kim really does have some amazing things. And I just dropped her link into the chat there. Um, so make sure you go check out Kim. And yes, she was the winner of 35 some mystery boxes <laughs> from Just One More Toxin uh, Rescue that Patrick, Trusty Huckster Mercantile did. So definitely go check out those unboxings if you haven't seen it. And of course, Kim's first video on her channel was Owls. Uh, so we all know uh, Kim loves swans, but I thought it'd be fun to do the owls because that was her first <laughs> video on YouTube. So go show Kim some love. I'm very excited to be on your sale. I feel honored to be included. And I'm so thankful that you came on tonight, Kim. This was fun. Thank you so much, Katie. I had so much fun. And thank you to everyone who came out tonight uh, to watch Katie and me and showing all of my owls. And I hope uh, Carrie didn't faint and she's okay. <laughs> yeah, Carrie was getting some really cool eye candy tonight. <laughs> well, guys, this was a lot of fun. Kim is awesome. Patrick was awesome. So please make sure you give a big thumbs up for this video and share it with your friends. And uh, I'll be having more special guests on Show and Tell next week at uh, Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, as always. So make sure you tune back in to see who I'll have next week and follow my Instagram because I'm going to surprise you all with the drop there. So stay tuned for that. A couple of things happening this evening. I do want to give a quick shout out to before we all head out for the evening is Kim, uh, of course, will be having everything on her channel coming up. So stay tuned for that. But then Gina, Cat, and Picasso Cat from the chats will be having a live sale. I don't know if it's on Gina's channel, Vintage Digs, or Calypso Cat's channel, but that's happening next in the next few minutes. So if you want a sale, definitely go tune into that because it's Picasso Cat's first sale. So let's go support them. Uh, also at 11 o'clock Eastern and just 30 minutes. I'll be having a premiere on my channel. So my newest YouTube video will be up and uh, it's only nine minutes long. So uh, hopefully you guys will come back for that. And of course, go support everyone, everything happening you can tonight in the community. So as always, folks, I hope you will stay in, stay safe and binge YouTube. Bye-bye now. Bye.